Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today we're doing a glitter text Photoshop tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to use layer masks to add glitter to your text and also how to do this with a layer style and then I'll show you how to stroke your text as well with uh, patterns and textures. I'm just going to start here with a 1920 by 1080 document. I'm only using this size because it works for the dimensions of a screen, but this can be any size that you need it to be. So we're going to come over here to the type tool. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Make sure you're on horizontal type and then just type up whatever word you want to use. I'm going to use the word glitter and then I'm going to make this pretty big so you can see it. You can go bigger than that. So the the font that I'm using is called Cormorant SC for small caps and I'm using it in bold. So this type of texture really lends well to thick bold fonts because you have all of this area inside of the letters to work with. So we're going to stick with uh, the thicker font for this one. So again, that's Cormorant SC Bold is what we're using here. This is a free Google font. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description so you can grab this if you're interested. The next thing I'm going to do is bring in our glitter pattern. So I'm just going to grab my glitter and drop it in here. This is a glitter I showed you how to make in a previous video. I will link to that video as well, but you can download this. I'll leave a download link uh, down in the description so you can grab this uh, if you want to use this particular one. But you can make this all on your own. I show you how to do it from scratch in another video. And I have several videos on different styles of uh, glitter. So I'll leave a link to a playlist that will show you how to make tons of different styles of glitter as well. So once you have your texture in here, what I'm going to do is come up here to Edit, Define Pattern. And I'm going to call this glitter and I'm going to save that because I'm going to show you a method on how to add glitter without the clipping mask and then also how to create glitter outlines for your text as well and I'm going to use this as a pattern to do that. So the first thing that we're going to do is come here to the glitter pattern and you want to make sure that it's over your text. This is very important. So since we are using a clipping mask, whatever layer is on top is the one that's going to clip into the layer below it. So this layer right here is going to control the visibility of the layer above it. So hopefully that makes sense. It's just the order here is extremely important. So you need to make sure that your glitter or that your text is underneath that pattern. So the first method that you can use to get this clipping mask is to right click and then just choose create clipping mask and that will add the glitter texture directly into the lettering there. Okay, the second thing that you can do is come up here to this hamburger menu and do the same thing. Create clipping mask and that's going to do the same thing. So there's always at least three to four ways to do something inside of Photoshop. I'm just giving you the, you know, a few different methods. So that's the second way. The third way is to come up here to layer. Make sure that you're you're on that glitter layer and you can choose create clipping mask from there and the fourth way and probably the the one I use most often is to use the option key on your keyboard alt key on a PC you'll just hold down that option or alt key and then you're gonna hover right here between these two layers and you'll see that little white square and an arrow once you see that you'll just click on your mouse and that will also create a clipping mask. So those are four different ways that you can use to create a clipping mask and get this glitter text effect. Now once you have um, the glitter clipped into your text, you can move this around uh, and resize it, make it bigger, smaller, depending on what your original size was. You don't want to go too big if your original image was smaller. You're just going to get a bunch of pixelation. But you can resize and adjust just using uh, your anchors, your move tool. Okay, so now I want to show you, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So I'm going to show you another way to do this, which is the one I use most often, but only because I save my patterns inside of Photoshop. So if you have your glitter texture saved in your patterns like I just did, so I'm going to come up here to Window and then Patterns. I am in 2020. So if you're in 2019 or earlier than that, 
you're not going to have these patterns here. You'd actually get to your patterns by coming into edit and then go to the preset and your preset manager if you open this up. So right here I only have two. You'd actually have patterns and everything, uh, patterns, brushes, all that stuff would be here in your preset manager. But for 2020 you're going to have your patterns here. So you can just come into patterns and then uh, click on the pattern. Make sure that you have that layer selected. Click on that pattern and that's going to add that directly as a layer style. So you can see right here it's added the layer style. Another thing you can do is just double click over here on the side of the layer and then choose pattern overlay. Now you might get like trees or something. You'll have you'll actually have to click on that little down arrow, choose the pattern that you created and then uh, put that in there. You have a lot of different blend modes here for this. You can change the angle. This is more, this is not really going to make a difference for a glitter pattern, but um, for any other pattern you can change your angles. You can change your scale here. So I find that changing your scale uh, inside of the patterns is going to, the best results are going to come from 25%, 50%, and 100%. Okay, from here what you can do is come in here to effects. If if it's not showing up here and add a color overlay so you can just change your blend mode to color and that's going to change the color of your glitter so you can make this any color you want just by adding that color overlay you can also do that with the clipping mask by adding a hue and saturation layer to this as well okay the other thing that i wanted to show you is uh, this adding the stroke so if that's not showing up you can come here to effects just click on stroke and the stroke for this is going to be, we'll leave it at six pixels. You can't see it right now because it's showing a color fill type. So you can change position, change the blend mode, just like we did, you know, uh, right here with this color overlay. Uh, but you can change all of that stuff. And then we can come in here and choose pattern. And that's adding that same pattern, that gold pattern. Um, only because it's the last one I selected. If you get something else, you'll just click on that little drop down arrow and choose your glitter pattern. And then again, angle, the scale, all of that stuff can be changed in here. And now you've got text outlined in glitter. And I'm going to actually turn off our glitter overlay and our color overlay so I can show you how to get that stroke without any fill in the middle. So I have these turned off just the stroke is showing and I'm just going to come in here and choose fill and take it all the way down to zero and now I have my text outlined in glitter. So I can change my background color or I can add a uh, pattern to my background. If this video was helpful to you make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.